So here's a quick tutorial on how to find the shortest path between two nodes in Gephi. I have a graph loaded up here. Uh, the size is between the centrality and the colors are set by the modularity class. If you don't know how to do that, look at the other tutorials that I have posted and there will be some that show you how to do that. So to find the shortest path, you can use this airplane tool over here. And you see if you mouse over that, that it says shortest path. Before you click on that, make sure that you're selecting directly using the mouse, clicking here. If you have the rectangle selection, it won't necessarily work. So click on that arrow and then click on the shortest path tool. And you'll see up here it says select a source node. So we can click on a node to start with. And now if we look at the top, it says select a target node. So we'll click on a node over here. And now you can see that the path is highlighted in red and it says a five distant path has been found. If you want to clear that out, you can just click outside. And now let's look at finding a path when one doesn't exist. So I could click here for my source node and then click on one of these disconnected nodes up here and we can see it says no paths exist between these two nodes. Now one note, a problem that I've run into is if we filter the graph, sometimes this doesn't work. So let's try that really quickly. We'll just filter by the giant component and that'll filter out those uh, subnetworks that were on the outside. We'll rerun this. And now, if we try to do this selection, we see we're supposed to select a source node, so we can click here. And if I go to select a target, say this node, nothing happens. Uh, this is a bug that I've seen reported as of 2009 on the Gephi website. Um, and as far as I can tell, it hasn't been resolved yet. So if you're doing this, make sure you're not working on a filtered graph. Uh, if you work unfiltered, it works exactly like it's supposed to. Click on the source node, click on the target, and it'll display the path and the length for you. Enjoy!